Now, the, the key point here, I suppose, with a view to England in two weeks' time is that really the entire Irish back line from 11 through to 15 will be off playing sevens. So no Stacey Flood, Nicole Cronin will obviously stay on, but this is a uh, you know, real issue for uh, management. If Greg McWilliams had one veto, might he say, we'll hang on to uh, Flood. Yeah, if he, if I, I'd imagine if he got to play out a card and keep a player, and there's some talented players in that back line, but the way Stacey Flood is playing at the moment, you'd like to kind of like keep her within the Six Nations squad because she, she's a game changer. She's been looking really sharp. Um, yeah, no, she'll be she'll be a loss against a team like England. Absolutely, I uh, I agree with you, Jens. And you know, apart from the more try that we've seen here, um, I think a, a lot of the the tries that have been scored um, have been through either a touch from Stacey or a couple of passes from her, and, and and also the other girls who are involved in the sevens program. So it would be interesting to see how then the other girls come in and step up uh, yeah. when they're needed. But certainly, you know, it's an environment that. Uh, you just need them to, to do a job, whoever comes in to, to, to fill the role. To state the obvious, it's so disruptive, isn't it? You lose your whole team with two matches to go. It's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty tough going. Um, I think it happened to our team in 2017 in the Six Nations, but we didn't lose as many players. And, and, and it was a galvanising factor of like, right. OK, let's shore up. OK. But this is... This is there's there's senior players le um, leaving and being and being taken away. So this is a tougher ask against England. Okay.